Hello everybody. Today I want to discuss about working principle and operation of dead weight tester. Do you know why it is named as dead weight tester? Dead weight testers are named so because they utilize dead weights in determination of pressures operating in a closed and compressed fluid system. They are so called because of the reason that for each value of pressure to be exerted or applied in the closed hydraulic system, a predetermined or fixed amount of weights are used to exert the force to counterbalance the buoyancy forces. Each weight is stamped with the equivalent amount of force that will be exerted on a predetermined area of piston cylinder arrangement by using that weight. Therefore the device is called dead weight tester. Now we will see the working principle and operation of dead weight tester. Dead weight tester works on the principle of Pascal's law. The testing pump is connected to the instrument to be tested that is pressure gauge etc., to the actual measuring component and to the filling socket. A special hydraulic oil or gas such as compressed air or nitrogen is used as the pressure transfer medium. The measuring piston is then loaded with calibrated weights on the weight support. The pressure is applied via an integrated pump or, if an external pressure supply is available, via control valves in order to generate a pressure until the loaded measuring piston which is inside the cylinder rises and floats on the fluid. This is the point where there is a balance between pressure and the mass load. The piston is rotated to reduce friction as far as possible. Since the piston is spinning, it exerts a pressure that can be calculated by application of a derivative of the formula P equals F slash A. Where the pressure, P, acts on a known area of a sealed piston, A, generating a force, F. The force of this piston is then compared with the force applied by calibrated weights. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.